Smell it, smell it. Hello everybody, welcome back or welcome if you're new. I'm Tiffany with Large Family Love and today I am sharing my Croctober recipe and I'm so excited for you guys to see this because I made it a couple weeks ago when my brother and sister-in-law were here for the weekend. They were up here visiting from North Carolina and I ended up not filming anything that weekend. And it was awful because this was like the best recipe I had made in forever. It was the first time I had tried it and I share our recipes every day. If you're new, uh, basically our channel is I grocery shop on a budget and then for the rest of the month, I show you what we eat all day, every day as a large family on a very small grocery budget. So for me to have missed this one meal that was like the best meal I had made, I was like, I have to make it again soon because I have to share this. Um, it's not my specific recipe. I found it on Pinterest, so you guys may have had it before, but maybe not. And if you haven't, you have to try it. I promise it is so, so good. It is called butter beef and it's amazing. So I'll share that in just a minute. But first I wanna say thank you so much to Amanda Beal from The Beals and to Lisa Sutton from Sutton Days because they are the hosts of this whole uh, Croctober collab. Every day this month, you're gonna get an Instant Pot or a crock pot recipe from all these amazing channels. You will have 31 different recipes and you're gonna wanna make every single one of them. There are some amazing recipes. There's amazing channels. You're gonna love it. Down below, you will find a link to Sutton Days and to the Beals channels because they, again, are the ones hosting this entire thing. So say thank you to them and I say thank you to them. And thank you for allowing me to participate in this. And it's just gonna be so exciting and so wonderful. There is also down below a Facebook group link where you guys can go and join the Croctober Extravaganza Facebook group. There's gonna be giveaways, there's gonna be recipes, there's gonna be live videos, all kinds of fun stuff on Facebook. So make sure that you guys go over there and check that out. And there's also gonna be down below in the description box a link to everyone's channels, everyone's it, on like the specific days on the first, it'll have whoever did the first, the second, all the way through the 31st. So you guys can see everyone. There's going to be a playlist, so much fun stuff. This is just going to be super awesome. You're going to have a great October and thank you so much for allowing me to be part of it. Yesterday, Celtic Lassie shared parsnip soup and then tomorrow there's going to be apron strings sharing salsa verde tacos how delicious so make sure you guys are watching all these channels make sure you subscribe make sure that you tell them i sent you and tell them that amanda beal sent you and lisa sutton sent you and everybody in the croctober uh extravaganza collab sent you whoever you want to say go ahead just subscribe everybody because it's going to be wonderful now let me go ahead and share with you this butter beef in the crock pot. It is so good. All right, so I sprayed my crock pot and I have our beef roast in here. Now, if you wanna be super fancy and amazing, you can go ahead and sear your beef roast on all sides. But right now, I don't know if you can hear in the background, we've got homeschool going on, we've got virtual learning going on, we've got a lot of stuff. So I just really need to get it in here and get back to uh, real life as well. So um, I'm not searing. Sometimes I sear, sometimes I don't. It depends on the day. Today is the day that I'm not searing. So we're gonna do our beef roast. And if you've ever had Mississippi roast, this is very, very similar, except you switch out one ingredient. Mississippi is um, an au jus pack and a ranch packet. This butter beef is an Italian packet and a ranch packet. Um, and I have to say, this is a thousand times better. And Mississippi beef, if you've had it, is amazing. But we made this and I was like, I'll probably never make Mississippi beef again because this is a thousand times better. But anyway, um, I'm using the packets. You can totally do your own seasonings. If you don't have packets, you don't like to use um, the prepackaged ingredients or anything, you can totally make a healthier version by doing your own Italian dressing and your own ranch dressing mix. Um, I'm a busy mom, so I'm using these. And I happen to have this one, this is from Sam's Club, so I'm just gonna put about the same amount of ranch as I am Italian, and we're gonna dump them over this. And then also, um, we're gonna do banana pepper rings, and we're also going to do 
a stick of butter, an entire stick of butter. And then we're going to put it on low for eight hours. And you can eat this over mashed potatoes. Last time we made it, I put it over mashed potatoes. Today, I think we're gonna eat it over rice. But I'll ask my husband, because he's actually up today, and I'll see what he wants to do. Um, banana peppers. And I always throw a little bit of the juice in here, just because it gives extra flavor. That's a personal decision. It's not in the recipe at all, but I always add some extra juice. So I'm just gonna use the rest of um, what's in this jar. And I'll have the actual recipe linked below. And the actual recipe is for an instant pot butter beef, what I found, but we're just using the slow cooker today. You can totally use the instant pot and adapt it however you'd like. All right. Oh, oh my gosh. There's a lot of real life going on here. If you guys have never seen our channel, we share lots of real stuff because I ain't perfect and that's okay. Nobody is. So um, we're gonna put this on low for eight hours. So low, eight hours. And after eight hours, I'll show you all what it looks like. All right, now it has been cooked for eight hours. And, oh, smell it, smell it. But anyway, I like to come in here and shred it apart and let it sit in the juice for a little bit. That's again, personal preference. You can slice it and give it to people. You can do whatever you want. But I just like to open it up and let all the like inner stuff soak up that juicy goodness. It's just, oh, it's amazing. This beef is so, so good. So good. I'm very excited about eating dinner tonight. I have a whole family excited about eating dinner tonight, actually. So yeah, I just like to pull out this fat right here. All right, so I got all that. I didn't like completely shred it. You can completely shred it. Again, you don't even have to shred it at all. But I just like to get it in smaller pieces to where, like I said, the it's all getting the juice. Like the inner parts are getting the juice. It just gives it so much more flavor. And I'm just going to let it sit like this on warm until we're ready to eat. Look at all that juicy goodness. Oh, all that flavor. The smell is amazing. So this is how I'm serving our butter beef tonight. The beef over some rice. We have some veggies and then we have our homemade sweet bread. And I'm very excited to eat this. It smells so wonderful. I mean, look at that. Okay, I'm in here cleaning up from dinner and I just wanted to pop on here and tell you, give you a, a review. I mean, we've already had it one time before, but I just wanna tell you our very picky three-year-old, almost four-year-old, ate two plates of that butter beef and rice and she never ever eats anything. So if that helps tell you how good this butter beef is, there you go. Um, if you have made it before, let us know how good, you, how good it is. If you like it, if you don't like it, whatever, but I'm telling you, you're going to love it. And if you do make it, make sure you come back and you tell us how, what you thought of it. And it's almost bedtime, but um, make sure that you tell us what you think because, oh my gosh, is it so good. And I just also wanted to say you're catching us in the middle of Shelftober, which is where we're trying to eat through our pantry and freezers and stuff without really going grocery shopping except for fresh milk and fruits and veggies. But other than that, I plan on buying nothing through the month. So this is a good meal to clear out. That's why we used frozen veggies. That's why we used rice. Um, why I made some sweet bread. Oh, such a good meal you guys i can't wait for you to try it so thank you to everyone that watched i hope you consider subscribing to our large family love channel as i said in the beginning we share meals on a budget uh we're just on a strict grocery budget and i try to share meals to help others who might be on a strict grocery budget because it can be done that you can eat really really good on the cheap so <laughs> that's what we do around here and again i try to share them every day and you can get so many meal ideas from us every single day i share a video so um if you've made it this far again 
thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch us. It gets loud, it gets crazy here, but we have a really good time. And I just wanna say thank you all so much for letting me be part of this collab. Thank you to Amanda and Lisa for like hosting and sponsoring this whole thing. Make sure you guys go over and check out the Facebook group because there's giveaways, as I said, there's gonna be so much fun over there, interaction, all kinds of recipes, all kinds of ideas. The It's the first today, I think, and the group is like over a thousand members. It's going crazy. People are posting like crazy, amazing, amazing recipes, ideas, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you head on over there and check it out and make sure you do not forget to check out everybody else's videos. Subscribe to everybody, send them some love, tell them we sent you and just have a fabulous rest of your Croctober extravaganza month. And I'll be back tomorrow with a video that actually shows everything else I made today, including that sweet bread. Oh, it's so good. So if you're into this kind of stuff again, just don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and enjoy these other videos we have coming up for you. Also, you can turn on the red bell notifications so you're notified of every new video we post. Thank you so much.